you need to figure out what works for you and your family and you need to make decisions based on who you are. In a recent study of 13,000 parents around the world, it was found that 55% of parents feel like they are failing in the first year of parenthood, out of which 60% in this group were moms. Most than half of this group of people who feel like they are failing are moms. The, already, the other 40% we're assuming are dads, but that's a huge gap. And that is also why I've made it my mission to show you what motherhood has felt like for me, even though it's not always so pretty. And even though I'm not always raving about my perfect life and my perfect kids, right? I want to give you transparency. That is absolutely when the word, when the work begins. And I will tell you this, not only as a therapist, but as someone who went through it because I wasn't connecting with my son the way, the way that I wanted to. And it wasn't until I did this work and the more that I read that I was able to really heal that and now truly, truthfully connect with him from a place of understanding and absolute pure love and acceptance. As you continue to breathe normally, I want you to imagine a place, real or imaginary, where you feel happy, safe, and contained this meditation if you wish and you know understand that through this class as difficult as it may be for you depending on where you fall that this is a safe space and i'm always here for you if you want to connect one-on-one -on -one. and the way that your brain automatically thinks and connects with each other will help you make sense of or lower down your reactivity when your child is going through a crying spell or asking for help, right? In those moments when you wanna blow up, this will lower down your reactivity. It will also change the way that you relate with your child, not only in the moments of chaos, but even in the simple moments and the way that you redirect in moments of stress. That if we live a life of intention according to our top three to five values, then everything will make more sense and it'll flow easier in your life. I value honesty. So at work, because I value honesty, then I always try and strive to provide services that I know are in the best interest of my client, right? I don't lie, I don't cheat, you know, I'm, I'm ethical, I'm moral when it comes to being a therapist and a mom co voice that many of us ignore, don't want to listen to, try to push it down, try to push it down to the side, but really it comes out in your burnout, in your screaming, in your unhappiness, in your tears. It's trying to come out. And when you do not notice the dissonance and chaos in your life, okay, it may lead to conflict in your family, to more screaming, to arguments, to feeling unhappy, to depression, to anxiety, to getting sick, right? You need to start noticing the dissonance and chaos in your life because it's communication. It's trying to tell you something.